Good morning, welcome back. Yeah, not near as early as I was hoping I was gonna get out here. I had a bunch of crap to get done in the house before I could get outside. So we got the corner JB welded back on here. I bought some short strand fiberglass. I'm gonna try and build up the back. I also bought some resin, because I've already got some matting in there. So we're gonna try and get this patched back up today and get this glued on, get some more of the, get some of the studs put back in and get this reattached. I mean, you can see where it had already been. Somebody tried to fix it once, it wasn't me. Um, yeah, it's in rough shape, but we'll patch it up. We'll make it look no worse than it looks now. We'll get it sanded, we'll get her sanded down um squirt a little paint back on it i bought a uh, let's see what's that oh that's some sanding disc hang on put you down for a minute pick you back up and try this again all right look i bought us an electric da um, it's just because my compressor's tough to use so i thought well let's get an electric and see how that works because i really don't have any bodywork type tools and i'm going to need this for the roof of that before i can put any kind of paint on it whether it's spray bomb or we actually mask it off and shoot it and before we put the scoop back on we need to trim the hood a little bit so as you can see right here and right over there there's some stuff that's been bent back. If you can see this spot right here. So what happened was one of them times when the race car was broke and I uh, took this to the track with a, essentially a junkyard motor in it. Not even near as fancy as this. It didn't even have rings or bearings or anything in it. Uh, the motor mount broke. And when the motor mount broke, the only thing that kept it from flipping clear over in the car was the fact the header was beaten on the floor, it beat a big dent in the bottom of the floor on the driver's side. But that mark is where the fan was hitting the hood. And I had a big 14 inch air cleaner on it and it was laying over so hard it was actually hitting the hood. So we just took some big pliers and bent the hood back to keep it from tearing up that, what at the time was an expensive air cleaner especially considering I didn't have any money. So we're gonna try and get the hood trimmed today, get the scoop patched up, get this drum pulled off so we can see what's wrong with that. Then maybe try and bleed the brakes if we can get that thing patched up. So there's what we bought. Um, yeah, this is gonna be, gonna be a learning experiment. Learning experiment? Learning experience? Learning... I don't know, let's just see if we don't fuck it up. Alright, so we figured while we had the air compressor out and the muffler cutter, we'll cut this down because we're going to need that to make those fit right good where it had been bent down. Shot a little paint on it. Shot a little paint on it. I don't know. I guess it's better. Let me open this up so you can take a look. So here and over there, I mean, I guess it's definitely better. Um, there's what we cut off that part. And where's the other one? Here it is. Here's the other one. So these two pieces are what we cut off from there over there so then i got a dumbass i mean i got the bright idea to um we're gonna put since we got one of them insert nuts or whatever it is that them things originally had in them i'll um fiberglass all of that in and then once it dries i'll just take the cutoff wheel and i'll just chop that off to the height that it needs to be now let's mix some crap up and see what kind of mess we can make I don't know if I've said this before, and if I have, I'm going to say it again. I don't know what I'm doing, so for the love of God, don't do anything that I'm doing and expect it to work. 
Yeah, that's messy. It is not pretty. Not, I mean, not at all. I mean, so the first batch I did, I guess I put too much hardener in it because it hardened up like really quick. Had to mix up a second batch, smaller one to try and, that's not good. I'm gonna to need to run a thread chaser down, thread cleaner on these. But, no, well, that part's done. Done as it's gonna get. All right, so uh, uh, we've made a mess. I forgot how bad this thing looked underneath of the black spray paint I put on it. Yeah. I, I don't know what this hippie south of the border looking crap is, but I never liked it. So I got to fix this. That's why I took it clear down to the gel coat because that's broke. Something obviously hit it right there. I mean, there's a lot of cracks in the paint. So I'm going to have to take that down probably even farther. Like, I mean, this, I mean... We may just fix this spot, sand her down as good as we can. I don't know, we'll figure out, spray some high buildup primer or some shit on it. I don't know, I'm just making crap up because I don't know anything about this. But we'll make it look better than it did, maybe. I'll tell you what, if I'm gonna sand all of this paint off take me a damn week it's supposed to rain tonight um well it's supposed to rain tomorrow if it does not rain or in between rain maybe we can actually get that brake drum pulled off and figure out what the hell's going on there i bet the shoes are just rusty drums rusty inside shoes are stuck however you want to call it um i made a big old mess out of this whole thing so the corner that was broke, I've got it. This all, this, this, I got that done. Um, once that dries, I don't know, tomorrow. If it doesn't rain, and there we are again with the rain thing, we'll get that filed down, sanded down. Um, the rest of it feels pretty smooth, but I'm gonna need to put a pretty heavy primer on it because there's some pretty good divots in it. I mean, it's not gonna look great. Uh, we put a little on back here too, because there was a pretty good divot back here where that stud was. And when it pulled out, it left a little mark. And I had some left over from when I was doing this spot. So I thought, ah, fuck it, we'll just smear it on there too. Um, who knows? It'll probably, it'll look better because the paint won't be peeling off of it, but it's not gonna look. Primo. I don't do body work. Don't come to me looking for how to do body work. Uh, fiberglass that's been sanded on. I shouldn't have wiped my hand on it. Anyway, so that's that's going to do it for now. I have no idea when this thing's ever going to hit the road or hit the track or just everything takes forever.